What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode 2 of Gigantic Quest. Uh, today we are with uh, Joseph uh, UX9. Is your full name Joseph? Uh, yeah, it actually is. Okay, I just want to make sure it wasn't something weird. Like, because, because you know, like some people's name is like Bob, and it's like, oh, what's Bob short for Will? Or like William, and they go, actually it's Bobbert. You're like, oh. Uh, so yeah, anyways, uh, Joe is going to be our second guest. Uh, some people asked, yes, we are going in dex order, so that means Pokemon number two, if unless I'm, I'm absolutely tripping, is Charizard G-Max, uh, and Joe helped me build this team. I definitely have at least one input here. Joe definitely didn't reject the greatest Pokemon spread ever made, but yeah, Joe, uh, go ahead and walk us through the, uh, the Charizard. Well, you know, I mean, obviously, uh, I was talking to Marcos about this because I thought it was really funny. I thought it was, like, very thematically appropriate that, like, on this series, like, the one that we, like, did together, like, the thing that we worked on together is probably going to be the most standard. But it's just, like, kind of very, like, appropriate, right? Yeah. But this team uh, pretty much is utilizing just, like, the really strong, like, power of, like, Charizard and Venusaur. You know, they obviously centralize around a, a lot of gameplay or, uh, around each other. So... Charizard spread here is pretty straightforward. I mean, on Charizard, I don't really think you do anything but like 252, 2 really, right? Because you just need as much offense as possible. You're using Life Orb. Yeah. You here, obviously, you're just maximizing our damage. And then we have a couple of other things on our team that kind of support the Ancient Power better. So it just makes sense to run Ancient Power as opposed to like another coverage move. Yeah. I mean, like, if you're not running 252, 252 Charizard, you're either extremely paranoid of some weird coverage Pokemon you're never going to see, or you're just getting outsped by other Charizards. So. Yeah, um, or are you just like using bad for us? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't know. Uh, so, uh, next up, we got the Groudon. Uh, this uh, is another Joe spread. Joe definitely let me help. So, you know, what, what, what is this, Joe? <laughs> so, basically, the Groudon spread, it's pretty uh, intuitive in terms of what it's trying to accomplish. So, the 114 speed allows you to outspeed uh, base 100s after an airstream. So, that would be like Zapdos, Charizard. The standard Pokemon that you normally have to deal with. Uh, stuff like Eveltal 2, even though it's not base 100, still outspeeding it. Um, as well, on top of that, the attack set just hitting the attack bump, so it's just able to get a bunch of damage. And the special defense in HP is for a very specific Kyogre Calc. So because you have the AV combined with like Sun and the bulk, basically it lets you take two uh, timid Mystic Water, uh, like full, like full power in Sun water spouts. So you can pretty much live like two of those. If you're Dynamax, obviously, then you're going to be able to live like probably like up to five right because you can get a quake boost off you can do like some other stuff so it's like a pretty solid spread it just allows you to stay alive in front of kyogre and swap into it without like losing all of your health basically yeah i mean like it's just av groudon we've seen it for the better half of the season at this point uh next up like probably the best item right like yeah i mean, I mean I, like i like white herb personally but that's just because i like playing like lando groudon teams because they're just like airstream bs uh but you know, AV is objectively the best item, like if you're just trying to build a team in general now. Uh, yeah, I feel like White Herb is just like the... Uh, White Herb is a good item, I think, if you're... Like, so on Wolf's team, the Lunadon version he was using, I think he ran White Herb. And, like, it kind of works for his team because he was running, like, a Lecky with Electro Web, like your max speed Groudon. Like, you don't really want to be getting intimidated with that, right? So the bulk's not a value to you. Um, but, like, in most cases, like, I think the bulk is pretty good on Groudon teams, especially ones that have, like, defensive tools, like the one that we're using, right, that has, like, Will-O-Wisp, um, Snarl, you know, you have, obviously, screens and stuff, so it just kind of makes sense. Yeah, I know, personally, I just prefer, like, I, I'll use AV if the team necess necessitates it, but I'm more of a wider player just because most of my teams are very, like, momentum-focused, you know, mm -hmm. I just don't like getting intimidated, but... Next Pokemon, uh, it's Iron Ball, Prankster, Grim Snarl, Foul Play Trick, Thunder Wave Reflect, uh, it's 236 HP, 156 defense, 116 special defense. It's basically just you reflect, you live a, a Zacian behemoth blade, and then special defense. You know, yeah, pretty double, much, double right? speed I mean, control. Like, so it's just like it's just like a very common like thing, right? Like most Grim Snarls want to live that neutral behemoth blade behind reflect. Yeah. You know? Well, um, not neutral because it's Zacian. So. Well, yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> neutral as in, like, it's, like, it's taken the drop down to, like, neutral, and then you have the reflect, right? So yeah. Love it, so. uh, next up, um, Shuka and yeah. Sinor, another another Joe special. It's, like, I, I feel like, honestly, like, we'll have to touch on the Calyrex part at least, just so, no, like, they I'll, can, I'll be, like... I, No, I'm not just going to touch the Calyrex. I am going to absolutely squeeze this horse and explain why you are no longer allowed on the channel after this video. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, Incineroar is pretty basic, right? Like, the one cool thing that we have on the Incin is Protect, and Protect is very much like a momentum killer for a lot of Dynamax. I think that's something that actually is, like, really cool on Incineroars nowadays, because you just can waste turns of Dynamax, and on top of that, because our team is, like, very centralized around the Wildfire chip, the Vine Last chip, you're pretty much, like, always going to be leveraging that Protect to, like, kind of get that extra turn of chip, right? Mm-hmm. It, yeah, I mean, just being able to, like, sit in on Groudon is also super nice. You intimidate obviously like non-wider Groudons. Uh, you eat the first Prespice Blades because you're Shookaberry and then you protect on the second. It, and if they're if they're like, you know, max quaking you at that point, you've wasted two Dynamax turns. So that's absolutely huge. Oh yeah, uh, and that's like incredible. Like you can kill so much momentum with that. Right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's why a lot of like Weezings for a while were running Shookaberry and I, they still do when you see them because it's literally just like, I waste one turn, I waste two turns. Thank you. So yeah. Mm. Uh, and then we have uh, Calyrex Shadow. This is, this is Joe's stupid spread. Uh, he's running a Focus Sash, Will-O-Wisp, Protect, Astro Barrage, Snarl, uh, Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Timid Nature, 4 Defense. Uh, this is an extremely innovative Calyrex Shadow. Uh, it's gonna, like, I, I, I think I remember seeing this at the Louvre once, like, there was just a spread hanging on the wall. Um, yeah, I mean, Joe, Joe, uh, he, he built most of this team by himself. I had very minimal input, so what I did is, uh, when we were team building, I was like, hey, alright, Joe, uh, so you got six Pokemon here. I'm just going to go ahead and take the uh, Calyrex and I'm going to switch it to Incineroar 2, which is uh, my personal spread that I like to run because it's hilarious. You got to show them Incineroar 2. I'll, I'll, I'll throw Incineroar 2 on screen right now. So Incineroar 2, absolutely busted Pokemon. Exact same speed stat as other Calyrex. And Calyrex is the sort of Pokemon where the only requirement for being useful is that you are a special attacker and that you have max speed. So you don't automatically lose to other Calyrex Shadow. Uh, so my spread, <laughs> my spread is uh, leftovers, substitute Will-O-Wisp, Astro Barrage, Snarl, substitute can obviously be switched out for protect if you're feeling like it, uh, 4 HP, 212 defense, 36 special attack, 4 special defense, max speed, Tim in nature, uh, and that absolutely insane physical bulk is going to let you Will-O-Wisp any physical attacker because you're faster than everything other than Regieleki. Uh, and just sit in on them. Uh, Zacian's Behemoth Blade at Zacian Neutral, aka plus one, uh, is only doing 99% to you before the burn, and then you burn them, and all of a sudden it's a three hit KO because you're lefties. Uh, you know, Groudon, he doesn't hit you with Max Quake or Presbus Blades, he hits you with like a dollar store ground move at that point. And yeah, you know, it's, it's just a really, really good set for good players. The bad players, I <laughs> uh, usually reject it. Um, and then they use it. So I was like, Joe, we're going to use this. And then Joe's like, all right. And then he comes back. He goes, okay, I made it with Sash. And I go, all right, thanks, Joe. So yeah. So. <laughs> okay. To be fair, the be I think the best part of our discussion about this Calyrex was oh, the yeah. part where we got the Shadow Claw drought on. And you're like, <laughs> well, with the Will-O-Wisp, you know, it lives like two Shadow Claws. And then you, you know, you can stall out the ground that way. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, let's do it in the calculator. We look at it and it's like 85% chance to like, Two, two hit KO, so like it just gets a KO regardless of the burn, right? And um, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, eighty five percent chance to win. I'm like, bro, that's the kill. <laughs> so then we're just like sitting there, and he's just like, well, it's better anyways, you know? <laughs> yeah. First of all, when I said eighty five percent chance to win, I wasn't referring to the roll. I was referring to the chance for you to burn. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's that's the that's the rule. And order two is eighty five percent chance to win, and I like those odds, Joe. I like those odds. But I would argue the best part of that discussion is when I called Sierra into the room, and you went and got her, uh, and I was like, Sierra, please tell Joe that he needs to run this. And then you're like, Hey, Sierra, tell him something that'll convince him not to run it. And Sierra's like, You should run substitute over protect. And I go, That was on the original version. Thank you, Sierra. <laughs> oh. Anyways, Dude, the last she, one's I, Venusaur. It's funny too, because like as she said that to you, she's just like giving me like the evil look. And yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, we're we're using normal Calyrex, but yeah, now we got G Max Venusaur. It's just like a, a bulky um, weakness policy spread, Sleep Powder, Earth Power, Weather Ball, Leaf Storm, very standard. Um, but you know, we obviously have a lot of damage control because we have uh, Snarl. Are we running Snarl? Cal yeah, Snarl, Will-O-Wisp, Calyrex, Shadow next to it, along with Incineroar. And Grim Snarl, like, you know, usually would run screens, but we're running just like, you know, we have Reflect, so it's fine. Like, it's not like we, we you don't eat too many special max airstreams in this format. It's usually going to be coming out from like a physical Thunderous or something.
So yeah, yeah. And like also the Charizard matchups, I feel like you're not really using light screen because you're gonna be like tricking that Iron Ball, right? Or like Thunder Waving. Yeah, so. and like let's be real, if you're not Dynamax behind a light screen, you're you're dying anyways. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's that's the team. Uh, Joe's a coward, and we're gonna go ahead and get into the matches. All right. Uh, so, just gotta acknowledge something real quick. Uh, we messed up, uh, and the Venusaur is Overgrow, and neither of us have an ability patch to get the hidden ability. So we're just gonna live with it, and then we'll we'll release the actual code. We'll edit it into the video here. Ba da ba. There you go. There's the real code. Uh, but we're gonna be playing with with the bad version of the team. Yeah, we're gonna win anyways. It's yeah. fine. Joe, what are you doing? You you breathe like a like a like a like a like an amateur. I know, bro. Very cringe. Joe UX9, the world's worst breeder. All right. Sir. There we go. Uh, so this isn't the team. Where are you? There it is. Okay. You know, it'd be a really cool, like, end of this series idea. What? Like, you, uh, at the end of this, like, episode, you have a giant final episode where you play one game with every team and try and get as many wins as you can. Oh, you know what? That wouldn't be a bad idea. Like a mega episode, you know? Yeah. I could do, like, I could do it during, like, a live stream and see which ones actually got games. Ooh, this guy's got a decent rank. Uh, that's well, a Lele. good news. Good news. We didn't need Venusaur here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, there's a Lele, there's a Zard, there's a, there's Tailwind. <laughs> Um, I, I honestly think Grim like goes in here hard. Yeah, you want to lead off of it? What'd you say? You want to lead off of it? Yeah. Uh, I, feel by like, the way, I feel like Grim... For, for these matches, like, you're you're mostly going to be driving. I'll just have some input because, you know, it's a, it's a guest-focused yeah. series. I think I feel like it's Grim, Grim Calyrex here, right? Because you get the pressure on the opposing Calyrex. You can go for a trick on it, right? Um, yeah. You can Astro Barrage immediately. You also have the Thunder Wave pressure for the Zard if you need it. Mm -hmm. And then in the back, you probably for sure want Groudon and Charizard. Yeah. Uh, my, my main concern... Wait, so Grim, Cali... Did you just notice the Groudon item? It's Citrus Berry. Oh, my <laughs> God. You know, we'll, we'll live with it, guys. You'll, you'll get the real code. You'll get the real code. All right. <laughs> Congrats, Joe. Congrats. No, dude. We did this so close to the episode deadline, too. We can't push this. <laughs> this has to be out Thursday, Joe. Uh, We're on borrowed time. I, I don't know why, but that makes it even funnier, to be honest. Yeah. Also, let me turn on the actual battle audio. There we go. That is hilarious. All right, so Galio Whimsicott, that's like, it's not bad. I think that's fine. We can, I think we here, can steal like a policy. I mean, they're definitely policy. I think, yeah, you trick the Sogaleo, get rid of the policy and Astro Barrage. Because even if they bring in Lele here, you get the KO on the Lele. Right? I mean, so, like, wouldn't, we, pretty... wouldn't we Wisp here then? I don't think you Wisp. I think you Astro. Because you're going to trick Astro, right? So, yeah, like, that's true. Because right. like, they don't get a good turn out of that. Because if they bring in Lele, you get the kill on the Lele. And then you hit the Sogaleo, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but they won't get the KO on your soul anyway. Dude, and if they haven't broken your stash. Let me, let me just tell you something. This better be Iron Ball Grim Snow. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine? Yeah, I, I could imagine. I don't have to imagine, because like two other issues have already shown up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Joe, you come on my channel, you reject my Calyrex spread, and then you mess <laughs> up the team. That's three strikes, buddy. That's three strikes. I, I don't know why, but it, it, honestly, it's, it's more fitting for this episode, where like you have someone who only uses the most like standard things, have the team with the most like weird quirky things but not even intentionally you yeah, know what i mean the, like it's the just really chaos funny. the chaos showed up unintentionally yeah all right iron ball um that's immediate so we're gonna be faster i always mix up iron ball and lagging tail yeah it's like it's like kind of easy to confuse the two i feel like sometimes because it's like lagging tail it takes effect next turn but they're never going to be faster you know iron ball it's immediate but you you might get faster it's it's I just always mix them up. I, I know what they are, but like, if I'm like speaking about it very passingly, you know, like I'll just mix it up. I like right. Zard here, by the way. Yeah. I Unless mean, they're Cotton Spore, I think we just beat them, honestly. Yeah. Uh, my, I don't think they're Cotton Spore. Like, well, actually, no, we're facing a 200 rank player. I feel like Cotton Spore usage goes up the higher on the ladder you go. So I almost yeah. want to like max guard here. I, I do really think, though, that you do take the risk. Because, like, it will be too behind if we, like, try to ever avoid the risk. Like, I think, like, Airstream into Solg 
right? Yeah, because we'll then, pick up the uh, KO Ash with. Is really safe. Because yeah. you always get the KO. And then on top of that, you get the airstream boost, right? Yeah. Because, like, they, like, for some reason, I was, like, imagining they had a Zacian Calyrex in the back, but they don't have three restricteds. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're fine. I, like, when you're looking at Solgallo, you're like, is it is it a restricted, though? Is yeah, it I, I, I don't know, man. That's not really restricted, if you ask me. Yeah, you know? it barely counts. So Galio is restricted in the same way I'm a bodybuilder. Oh my god. Galio is restricted in the same way that I am Jack. So Galio is restricted in the same way I'm a top player. Damn, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> All right, they probably just doubled. Yeah, I think I think now we just win here. Yeah, I mean, I'm honestly surprised it's not Cotton Spore. I feel like. I feel like you kind of got to run Cotton Spore this high on the ladder. Yeah, like, I, I just, yeah, Cotton Spore is, like, actually so good. In. It's literally just, like, Tailwind, but not. It's it's so weird. No. It's, like, Tailwind, but stackable. Yeah, it's stackable Tailwind that doesn't affect clear body mods. There's a trade-off somewhere. And grass types, so. Oh, yeah, it doesn't affect grass types. See, I see yeah, it I so that few and Yeah, it, I clicked Cotton Spore on the Cartana. It just didn't work. I was like, because oh. it's technically a powder move. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, there. I kind of just want to like wildfire Cali here. I think. I mean, couldn't we airstream Cali protect or yeah, airstream Cali protect our Cali? You're risking his beat tie there, though. That's a problem. Yeah. Sorry, it burps. I just think you wildfire to take the KO on the Calyrex. Because if we get the KO on the Calyrex, we just win, right? Yeah. And we need the residual to, like, break the stash if they have it. Do we attack? You just protect yeah. it, though. You'd have to protect it. I was like, if we're not air streaming, like, we just... It's not worth it. Watch, he's going to be Specs. It's going to be Specs and Ancient Power Zard. It might. It might. That's not Specs. And it's Air Slash. We're good. We're good. He's we're running... In. First of all, why air slash? Like I get that like on a No, you're not even running a sun team. Like why I like the Whimsicott slash move is probably Sunny Day in retrospect, but like, like Air Slash is like a coward move. Yeah, like just go with Hurricane. Like you get better air streams and like it technically improves your Kyogre matchup. <laughs> not in the way that you're gonna use it, but <laughs> but on, on paper it improves the matchup. Anyways, uh yeah, just Rock Ball. Just the flex, bro. Rock, yeah, rock ball, ball, fine. Rockfall, Snarl, I'm throwing. All right, bro. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no, bro. Check it out. Now we win. <laughs> that Snarl is exactly what we needed. Right, he's about to create Ancient Power and get the boost. Nah, he's Heat Wave. Oh, that's crazy, bro. You know, you know what set would have been better in this matchup? What? I'm not I even just gonna dropped say my cup. That's why, I, that's why I, I, I took a second worth. I don't, I don't even gotta say it. You already know what set would have been better in this match. That's crazy, bro. All right. Uh, so we just rolled rank two ninety eight or whatever. Yeah, we destroyed him. Yeah, yeah it's, it's it's Charizard, dude. Yeah, Charizard, bro. We got to see. We got to bring the mod we wanted. Game one, bro. And we absolutely demolished. Him. Exactly. Now we don't. First of all, we were using Charizard, so there was no chance we weren't like gonna pass it up for any game. <laughs> I mean, like, maybe, like, one game here or there, but, like, this is one of the easier max mons to justify. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Like, like, just wait till we get to, like, Butterfree or Meowth. Yeah, bro. I, I, dude, good luck on that one, bro. I don't know how you're gonna win with those. No, no, there is a way to use G-Max Meowth. It's really bad, though. I've used it before. What do you even do with it? Uh, you know how you can do, um, copycat Trick Room with, like, uh, max huh. mons? Uh, Meowth, the way that you get away with it is you run double cat and you do copycat hypnosis. Oh no, dude. Also uh, here. Um mandatory. Honestly, I, we don't need we don't need Venusaur for this either, which yeah, is kinda nice. Insane, insane kinda mandatory though. Uh yeah, I like honestly I feel like uh Grim Charizard and then Groudon Ensign, right? Yeah. I just feel like that makes the most sense. Because you immediately get the pressure with Zard, you can swap in the Groudon just to like bait the electric move and then you have like the intimidate. Yeah. I'm kind of interested to see what the, the Kafagurgus does. Yeah. You I know mean, what's really funny here? The Citrus could either really help us or hurt us. God, if only it wasn't a Soul Vest. If only if it was the good item. 
Yeah, bro. I mean, I might have it fixed for like a third match. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Just like, ah, oh, that's really weird. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to use this Barry Groudon. No protect, though. No protect. Oh, dude, I can't wait for it to like actually matter versus an opponent, like where we win because of it. This is going to be the one. If it's if it's any match, it's probably going to be this one. Yeah. <laughs> like Eveltal, it's going to knock us into berry range, and then we're just going to eat it and live a hit in Stone Edge. All right. I believe we're about to we're about to win this one too with Charizard. Charizard's yeah. a goat. I thought it was a dragon. Right, what they going to lead? A lucky Yo, Eveltal. The, uh, that's like the that's like the real Eveltal player lead. Yeah. I think here you just like because they're gonna web like darkness into Zard or Airstream, right? So you just like light screen and uh, oh wait, we, we don't, don't have light screen. screen. I mean, we could trick the Aleki uh, and then just go for max max wildfire. Yeah, I like I like trick Aleki and wildfire into Aleki actually. Because like it's a really good play. If they're gonna if they're gonna max anything here. Yeah, we 100% wildfire Aleki yeah. here though. Because that also bypasses Sash or whatever. Yeah. And, like they're gonna max the Velt all right. Like there's no reason for them. To oh, they didn't max anything. Oh wait, I well, mean, no, never mind. Uh, Eveltal is 99 speed. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I always, I always expect Eveltal to be like 101. I'm like, yeah, it's not 101. It's 99. Eveltal actually. would be way, way like better of a Pokemon if it were 101. Actually. Oh my god, I, yeah. yeah. I wish it was. Like it actually would be such a good in mod. I would be willing like, yeah, to drop it, those that uh, that 131 attack. Let's let's make it a 129. <laughs> yeah, I know. Actually, it's amazing how much a Pokemon can change with just one stat change. Oh yeah, no, it's actually absolutely insane. Like like Copperaja, twenty nine speed in like non max format, that'd go insane. Oh my god, <laughs> Copperajas, bro. Dude, in in non max, when you uh, heat crash the Amoongus with Life Orb, and then you go for like whatever, what is it? Uh, sheer Force boosted Iron Head. It wouldn't be terrible, is my point. Yeah, well, but you it, know. But it is terrible now because we got Max and Amoongus is the same speed tier. So. Yep. All right, so uh, I don't like the Snarl. Um, he didn't protect those, so he might be like AV. Honestly, though, I feel like Zard is one of those bonds. Like, you can kind of get away if like you do enough damage. Like, you just kind of win the game anyways. You yeah. know what I mean? Do you want to just double Kafagrigus? Because he's going to Trick Room here and try to win with uh, Dawn. I think you swap in Groudon here and just Wildfire into Kafagrigus. That kills for sure. We're at minus one. It, it, I don't know how they, like, they're like they EVing this is my issue. Oh, no, it's, it's going to demolish it, bro. Life for right. a Wildfire into Kafagrigus, bro, that thing's dead. I believe you. I definitely believe you. But if it lives, is so but if it though. lives, this is going to be a, another matchup where I'm, I get to say, hey, you know, uh, my Calyrex spread is really good versus Kafagrigus. <laughs> my leftovers Calyrex would have been really good in front of Starly Veltal. <laughs> exactly, dude. Check it out. Oh, okay. Never mind. What's this thing special defense? Isn't it like... Because its defense is 145. I know that much. What's its special defense? I think its special defense is worse. Yeah, I know that much. It's got like really bad HP. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Also here, I think if we just get rid of Eveltal, like, we just win the game. Yeah, I mean, we always like Airstream, too. Or actually, no. No, this, no, no. no. I, yeah. you probably just wildfire it, right? Yeah, no, I was, I, for some reason, I was thinking there was a Zacian in the back and that they were going to, like, protect this turn, but I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, you just wildfire the Eveltal, and then you swap. I would swap in Grim here, because that way you uh, just, like, kind of keep your ground unhealthy, because then you can yeah. just win with, like, Grim... Instant gives us also on. the option to like go for reflect and then get an instant and just intimidate oh, yeah. spam and then we just secure him with her with our dawn also like even though like we're minus two i still think zard is gonna do like a million damage to, like, yeah Eveltal. i mean if eveltal is like probably av but it's like already at what 65 percent ish yeah and if uh, they're if they're dynamaxing here? this thing if they're dynamaxing the eveltal like it's just not going to do anything this match no, the max ground on. Yeah, I think the game's already over at this point. Can we at the very least uh, switching ground on to eat a hit and eat the berry? Oh my god. Alright, that is definitely AV now. Wait, how did. How did what? The Velto went first. Right? Sucker Punch, dude, yeah. Oh, oh, he saw. Oh, he sucker punched. Okay, okay. Yeah, I saw. I thought it was Snarl's animation. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I get why. Like, it was a sucker punch onto a Maxmon, and Snarl is like such a ubiquitous, like, good move versus Maxmons that you're like, you associate the there's no animation animation for Snarl. 
Yep, yep. Also, I think uh, I have the, by the way, I sent you the new rental code. The new rental code? Fix. So, or we're going to play the last game with the right team? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no worries. All no, right. but um, yeah, I think you're just like reflecting. Nah, fire, I'm right? a, it doesn't like... matter. I want a blast burn foul play. Okay. We don't lose regardless. I want to click the funny version. Now, you know what would have been funnier that you messed up on? You should have given Grout on the magnet. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we giving it the magnet, bro. Now it has a chance to win, bro. No, he doesn't. Oh, Minus bro. one Dawn always loses versus just, you know. Nah, bro, he's gonna crit. He's, he's not gonna, three There's moves. no chance. There's no chance I just threw that game. Oh, yeah. I forgot we still got Wildfire, too. Yeah, yeah. like, with all the things going on and the shook <gasps> on the instant. The citrus! Oh, yeah. <laughs> the citrus! I forgot. <laughs> All right, no, this is this is the game the citrus matters. I, it actually is gonna matter. I'm pretty sure. I really hope he just hits the ground on here, just ignores this this incinerator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm just Blair gonna. Blitz yeah. The, uh, Why the hell don't weight based moves work on max mons? Just cut the damage in half, man. Yeah. If only, bro. That's in the dawn. Oh my god! Oh, let's go. We're gonna no, get No, no, citrus. He's out of range. That's so crazy. Check it. Dude, I think maybe we don't switch. <laughs> oh my god. Just win four games with the uh, not correct team for yeah. dominance. Dude, just imagine that like um, like you, you, you show me this like new team, right? Like this updated version of the team and my Calyrex shadows on there and I like shed a single tear and you go, yeah, Marcos. That's yeah, the, you that's... should try, man. Let's see. Let's see if that's what happened, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the Calyrex Shadow, bud. Uh, he crashed, bro, yeah, he crashed. Oh, oh that's I, crazy, I, Dude, bro. I was expecting it's that to so be our good. Shooka Berry. I was yeah. expecting it to be the Shooka Berry. Oh, bro, we're preserving the info. Yeah, for game three. might not even kill. Nah, we're good. Oh, okay. What is it? Equivalent weight? What's the base power? 40? It's like 40. 40 base power. Yeah, 40 in the sun. We're good. All right. Nice. Uh, let's let's input that that actual correct rental code. You know what's really funny? What? Our last two matches, we lose with the correct code. You know what? I, I would I would welcome it. All right. It'd let's very, switch over. Bro, oh, you were just on the screen for it. <laughs> I'm stupid. Get over it. Oh my god. Alright, um... Yeah, Moxie boosted, Moxie boosted content house. Alright, Where manage. we don't have the correct rental codes the whole time. Because Joe doesn't know how to put a team together. This part isn't in the video, Joe. You can stop talking to them. <laughs> oh, bro. Alright, return the garbage team. Rent the, uh, you know, suboptimal. But the Fuego I guess it's one, fine. bro. The Fuego one. I guess it's fine, you know. Oh, wait. Zero 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 one L R Y five J R Junior. Bro, this seems kind of smacking people on ladder, though. I'm not gonna lie. It is. It is. Anyways, here's the team, guys. There's the rental code. Uh, it's the correct one. Uh, I'll edit this to be in the middle of the video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, chlorophyll, prankster, drought, solar power, intimidation. Okay, we're good. As one, bro. As one. What? what? As 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 one. That's crazy. Never heard of that ability. Yeah, I think that's the wrong ability, bro. No, if it can't get turned off by um by uh, neutralizing gas, it's not a real ability. True. All right, nine twelve. I can't believe they gave it a double ability. Special Honestly, boost. like I think they gotta nerf it in the next, like in non-max. I think they gotta change something about it. I think they remove on nerf. Yeah, like it, as one, like just honestly, get rid of as one and just make it like grim nay and whatever. It's fine. Button two. Some people just like they're just coming on here with with. It's not like a real username. Yeah. All right, this is just. Cali, this is Cali a Venu game. Oh, this is a Venu game, dude. All right, yeah, I guess we got it just in time. 
Yeah, we got the V. Yeah, I don't think we can actually bring Zard here, right? Because Zard's kind of like that into this. Actually, uh, Zard's you not know, Zard terrible. Zard might actually be decent here. Yeah, like it doesn't it doesn't outright lose, you know. Um, but it's it's the mimicky that's kind of annoying for Zard on lead. I kind of like Grim Venu, honestly. Grim Venu. Or no, actually, Calyrex Calyrex Venu would be really good here. Yeah, we go for and the Astro Grim Barrage the and then we max immediately. Yeah, I like Grim in the back. Uh, Dawn or Insen? Yeah, probably Dawn, right? Because like you want to change the weather. Yeah. Unfortunately, Charizard must be left in the bench this game. But this is a great showing for weakness policy venue, I think, because the policy venue is really good in this matchup. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Just making sure I'm still recording here. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, that would not be good. <laughs> All right. Let's see what they got. I, I don't know. I mean, one of those is Incineroar. <laughs> yeah, the Dinsing Grim. The Eric Rios lead, bro. Oh, uh, congratulations. Your lead's so passive. I'm going to get light screened on and snarled and parting shot at a. Uh... All right, how ballsy are we? We're not staying in with Grim Snarl, I can tell you that much. Wait, you mean Calyrex? <laughs> er, sorry, Calyrex. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> listen, man, I'm tired. I work I work a full-time job. <laughs> I think we... No, 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 dude. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Okay, okay. Just Sleep Powder in the Grim here. He's going to click like something like Light Screen, okay? And just click Astral, okay? Trust me. He's just going to let you chip him for free. I... I, I I've played this. I've played these two Pokemon so much. I just know how they operate. They will never double target the Calyrex. This Grim Snarl is gonna fake out our Venusaur. Ah, bro. That's my nightmare scenario. The nightmare. We're gonna get hit by that nightmare. Check it out. You know what they never expect from Calyrex players? Just to click Astro Barrage every turn. Oh my God. Joe, do I have to remind you that this guy's rank three thousand? Oh. Oh well. <laughs> All right, you know, I mean, like, if he flare blitzes Arvinu, like, I think I'd prefer that almost. I think I'd it. Snarl? Okay, that's, like, probably the worst, actually. Um, yeah. Because we lose a lot of damage on Venu. Like, yeah, we can Vine Lash and stuff, but it's just not... It's, I it's, feel like here yeah. you bring in your own Grim, right? And, like, Sleep Powder into the, um... Actually, honestly, they might Flare Blitz here now, which is kind of crappy. And it's probably Goggles in Sin. Or, mm, hey, maybe. I think we actually, we just Vine Lash into, into Grim here. And, like, we just Astral Brush again. Are you sure? I, I'm just, I think you just click Astral again. All honestly. right. Because, like, the thing is, is, like, are they really going to expect you to just, like, attack a second time in a row? Like, probably not. And, like, also, too, if they Blitz Joe. here, they boost your Venus. Joe, what rank yeah. are we playing? Okay, bro. <laughs> you know, last time we made a video together, you had to keep reminding me that we were playing low ladder, and now we're doing now we're doing the same. <laughs> bro, I'm too much in I'm too much in VGC mode. I like now that like Worlds is coming up, I don't really ladder that much, right? Mm -hmm. so, like maybe I'm just in the mode too much where I played so much best of three, I expect them to make like really solid plays, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gonna blitz here, right? Like they got. Yeah, I mean we'll get our policy at the very least. They might snarl again. If they snarl again, that's probably the worst. I really hope they blitz. Because we should eat. Right? I mean, it's like, that wasn't really much ship with Astral, but like, honestly, I'll take it. God, this is... Joe, this is sad. <laughs> yeah, you know. Okay, all right, that's... Ah, there we go, okay, yeah, we're that's good That's policy. <laughs> all right, you ready? Burn? No burn. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about Quake on and Sin? Uh, just so we can stop playing against it? I kind of like Quick I kind of like backshard here only because the Astro Brush will probably tip it in range of uh, vines, and well, also it prevents uh, Grim Snarl from thunder waving us. That's true. Um, and like you don't lose anything, I don't think, out of that. I mean, like the KOs are going to be taken either way, right? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know because if we do Quake here, right? It just did, oh no, we're already like fucking. I'm You're gonna get thunder waved. You really want yeah. that to happen? No, you know I don't. Mean? Like. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, you could also protect, but like honestly, Astral just to tip him in the range is probably yeah. Safer. I mean, we could also just fish for a crit on either one of these two. Oh yeah. Because if we get even one KO, like all of a sudden, you know that that snarl earlier isn't really gonna matter. I don't know. I feel like here, just like he's the, not even gonna be T wave watch, bro. Bro. Oh, I thought he was sucker punching for a second. Yeah, like that that was a that was a long wait for that move. Oh, we get no yeah. KOs. I thought we oh, might we actually 
Oh, no. no, we didn't. Oh, it barely lived. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right. Probably like Spirit Break. Oh, they doubled. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's a good turnout. And I mean, we don't have to stand with Grimstar or not Grimstar, Calyrex, depending on um, what comes out. Because like late game Calyrex is actually super solid now that they're going to have to take Vine Lash on both their mons. They're not going to have any yeah. sashes. I think if Ogre and um, Calyrex Ice come out, then we do want to go for... Um, like, we do want to go for, like, Vine Lash and Wisp, yeah. probably. Actually, a big gonna, thing, too, I is think they TR you, regardless you think here. Or not. Oh, yeah, Scorp Ogre could be really bad. I actually kind of feel better about swapping in Groudon and just going for Vine Lash here. Um, because we let them take two KOs. Okay, so it's a tactical, it's a tactical play because we let them take two KOs and then we foul play them and kill them. We yeah, win. and we just find Lash Ogre, right? Yeah, you find Lash Ogre and then you swap in Groudon. Yeah, because we don't get KO'd regardless, dude. But if they <laughs> imagine they just glacial lance here, their scarf Calyrex. The year is 1984. Oh. oh my god! And for some somehow the scarf Calyrex is faster than our Venu. Exactly. Oh my god, imagine if you didn't have chlorophyll this game. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that'd be so bad. <laughs> I mean, I would still hate, like, Protect plus Glacial Lance. I'm just saying, bro, this is like a value team. You got both uh, Pokemon 1 and Pokemon 2 of Gigantic Quest done. Dude, Pokemon 1 was already done. Yeah, but you get it done a second time. All right, fine, fine, crap. fine. What's maxing here? Is it Ogre? I think it has to be Ogre. Cause you don't, you don't like not trick room here. We have a minus one Cali shadow and you're okay, buying screens. So we're but we're plus one, right? Cause they snarled us one. Yeah, but they got light screen up. Yeah. Right. Mm. All right, that's oh. actually really bad. Um, no, actually it's fine. Okay, so, so here's why, okay? We have a tactical reason for why this is okay. Okay, so we swap in Calyrex here. We let Calyrex go down. Are we about to do uh, like we, a we side trick Iron Groudon. Ball? No, 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 no. no. I think so because here, right? Mm -hmm. So we like sack off Calyrex and we let Venu die. It's Lefty's right? Ogre. Oh shit. Okay, that's not good at all. Um. Yeah. Okay. I think I think we swap in Calyrex here for Groudon. We let both go down to Glacial so we can foul play it. And then yeah. we win. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. I think no, no, no. no well, yeah, I yeah. I was win. just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just toss off a, uh, a leaf storm. I think you sleep pattern to ogre if, like, for some reason they let you get it. They, they never will, but, like, they might. Yeah, and Callie. Yeah. Goodbye, Callie Rex. It was nice knowing you. You know you know what Pokemon would have lived this hit? <laughs> what, lefties? <laughs> lefties? Lefties Callie would have lived this hit easy. Bro, I don't think it would have, bro. It <laughs> would have. Dude, I... you have no faith in... Like, listen. Listen. If it's taking... If it's if it's taking a behemoth blade, it's taking a spread glacial lance. Oh no, bro. The good thing is we didn't let them reset the ring either, which is kinda nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean there's no way to eat this hit. This is plus two foul play. Yeah, yeah, and I think foul play just gets a KO, right? And then we Yeah, and blade. we also block the, the rain from going up. Yeah, honestly, the Vine Lash ship here is coming in clutch for us because I think without it, we'd be like super screwed. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Leftovers. Lefties is Kyogre. actually really difficult, though, honestly. No, that's not going to be that bad. Actually, you know what? I, I, I retract that statement. We're not Spirit Break. Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. We're foul play. That's how we're able to beat the Calyrex, but the Ogre is still kind of annoying. You know? Yeah. I mean, we are AV, though. Like, we eat this hit. They only have so many turns of Trick Room. I mean, yeah, we just get the foul play off. In the color All right, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. We foul play this turn. We Presbus Blades this turn. And then for the ultimate flex, we KO the Kyogre under Trick Room by side-tricking the Iron Ball. I mean, yeah, but uh, is it, does it have another turn of max after? Uh, That was the second turn. It max guarded turn one. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, you're right. Well... The only situation where we lose that is if we miss, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, but it's it worth the flex. The play. It's not optimal, it's just worth the flex. Oh. Wait, how many turns of trick? Oh. We're fine, we're fine. Because they, they have to let us hit it this next turn. And we should eat this pretty well. 
Oh, that was in the Grim Star. That was a throw for them. Was it though? Well, think about it. Like they've wasted uh, how many turns of Trick Room? Is that the they third? They kill our Kyogre. I mean, they kill our Groudon regardless, so. But we still get this damage this turn, and then we get the Precipice Blades. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. How many turns of Trick Room are left? One I or two. one or two. Uh, I think it's probably two. Two, two. Well, we should be fine. My turn. Oh, wrong one. Two turns. Two, yeah, we just foul play. Um, and uh, blades. Yeah. Yes, sir. Goodbye, Calyrex. Nice knowing you. I mean, they could always like miss an origin pulse. Yeah. We could always miss blades too. <gasps> oh no. We're tanking. I believe. I mean, yeah, we're AV now. We're not Citrus anymore. Yeah. Bro, imagine if we were Citrus. <laughs> that would have actually screwed us this game. I, we switched the team at literally just the right time. Yep. All right. Now, I know what you're thinking. We have to, we have to trick Iron Ball here. On yeah. Route on. And the blades. We have to risk the Blades here, I think. Yeah, we have to We have to risk Blades for sure. Like, there, Wait. Um, wait, 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 wait. What if they protect, though? Then we untrick. We no, then we next lose, we can't trick. Wait, we can't untrick our Kai or Groudon. Oh no, no we, because we're it gonna have the assault vest on our Grim. I think it might be within foul play range. I'm okay, doing wait, this I anyways. Think, yeah, I think it's foul play range. I, I, I actually think you go for foul play here, 100. Yeah. percent Wait, wait, wait. We no, never, I'm we doing it. Here. I don't care. I'm doing it. No, they're, not, they're not expecting it. Oh my god, they're, not, dude, Joe, they're literally not expecting it. <laughs> Oh my They're God. literally not expecting it. There we go. Very pog play. Thank you, Marcos. You won the oh. match. You <laughs> saved the day. Bro, honestly, what would have been really funny is if you did that and then you missed. I know. I was I was holding my breath the whole time. <laughs> oh. All right. So, I mean, I know I said that we only do four games if we didn't Gigantamax the Charizard, but also the team was wrong for two of these. So we should just do it. Anyway. We should just do one more. Let's just do one more. I mean, the team was fire regardless, bro. That's yeah, all yeah. See, bro, look, I know you weren't a fan of no lefties, but you got to admit, it's kind of heat, you know? Dog, we've hardly used it. <laughs> That's actually kind of fact. All right. Uh, oh, you know what would have been great right here? <laughs> no, leftovers would not have Leftovers been right would have here, gone bro. ridiculous. It would have gone stupid, even. Uh, I think here. I like Calyrex Grim. Calyrex Grim. I mean, yeah, then, uh, like, we Zarth. can toss off a Snarl versus like Reshiram. We have Will O Wisp for like both the physical attacker or for all exactly, three. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I like I like uh, Groudon and Charizard back. Yeah. So how's the weather in Canada? Oh, the weather's great out here, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As in very hot. Like, I'm like melting. In Canada? Yeah, dude. Surprisingly. Mm, all right. Well, you know the UK had like a heat wave today or whatever. Yeah, it's like absurd. I think like a thousand people like actually like got like seriously like injured during it. Yeah. Uh, you mean like heat stroke? Yeah, I heard something like that. Yeah, that's not great. Not very pog. Not very bueno. A little bit insensitive that we're using a sun team. <laughs> yeah, actually, kind of. <laughs> All right. All right. My Ready prediction: to win, he's gonna make the nastiest lead we didn't predict. Rillaboom. Mm, Rillaboom Reshiram. No, yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, that's All right. Uh, uh, it's that's probably. I if I mean, is it physical or is it special? That's support, bro. That's support on there. So we're gonna get we're gonna get T waved. Nah, bro, if you're real, you click T-Wave and then there's Aishin, you just Astral Brush here. They're gonna get paralyzed. That's true, that's true, that's true. That's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. They're not nice enough. That's true, that's true. That's true. Or, no. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, the Astral's free and the Thunder Wave on the Zacian is honestly the most important part. Yeah, know? it's not like they can taunt Grim or anything. Like, normally, I feel like if you're trading, like, if you're trading Thunder Wave on a Zacian for a KO, it's usually okay. Because, like, 
These shoes just that good that like you need to like be on top of it, you know? Yeah. I mean, I guess if we were expecting like the thunderous to not be defined, we could have let ints in here. But then if it was, we would have felt really silly. Mm-hmm. Sea wave. All right. Okay, so yeah, I guess we could have let ints. There's in here, one. Right. We're gonna miss no, our show. Back. We're gonna we're miss cool. ours. Ah, oh, bro. Okay, and two. All right, who gets full parrot though? No, uh, no one. No one. Both of us. Okay, both, why, of us. Why, both, why of us. both of us. Both of us. Both of us. Both of us. Uh. All right. The bright um, side is. Honestly, Bright, yeah, bright side is like that doesn't inherently mean he wins. Uh, yeah, I think you just like Astro Barrage and like reflect here, honestly. Yeah, eat the hit. Um, yeah, we're good because then we take a Behemoth Blade, Eerie Impulse. Uh, I mean, we kind of knew that was happening. Right? Yeah, I just want to break this this sub, and then we can like go for like foul play, I guess. Oh, uh -oh. all right, come on. Come on, buddy. Full oh, pair. No, no, bro. <laughs> um, you know who wouldn't have gotten full pair there? Yeah, leftovers. Leftovers, Calyrex. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. Okay, well, that's not a great start, but I think it's very recoverable. Go Dawn. Um, I think Dawn, yeah. Uh, do you want to actually just like Astro Barrage, Max Rockfall this Thunderous? I don't think we max. I think we save the max for the Zard. That's true. I kind of like Astral. I kind of like Astral here and like Stone Edge. Yeah, I want to get rid of this Thundee so it's not going to like Eerie Impulse or Zard late game. Yeah. Alright, let's go like, for the edge. Like, that covers to make it pop in as well, right? Yeah. Like, they don't really have any safe pops. Thunderbolt. He's breaking the sash. Uh, okay, we're good. As long as, you know. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we're good yet. But... Yeah, you know, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, okay, okay right, there, right, we right, right. <laughs> there we go. There we go. You know who would have hit that three turns ago? Oh my god, bro. Maybe. Does that break the sub? Uh, it should, I think. Nah, bro. That's yeah. that's got some bulk on it then. I'm trying to think about how we win from here. Um. Oh, he went in. I, I was thinking if he went into, like, uh, if, if he targeted into, like, the, the Calyrex there and he actually got a KO, I was thinking maybe we could just go, like, Airstream P-Blades, but... I kind of like, um... Uh, well, what are they going to bring out? Oh, they bring out Lando. Um, that's still pretty bad, actually. Yeah, do you want to do you want to try for a Wisp on the Lando so it doesn't yeah, roll us? Yeah, I think we Wisp the Lando here, and we go for a Blades. We need to break the, uh... Well, I mean, we, we just Heat Crash. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You crush me. And we're behind a reflect here. I don't know if we take it though. We, we, I think we actually have a good chance of taking it. You know because who definitely Calyrex would have taken it. You know who definitely would have taken it. Oh my god! Actually, okay, on this one, I'll give you that. Thank you, thank you. Me. All right, you know it's good. I give it. I'll give it to you on that one. And you, we would have had leftovers. You, you, so in this can, specific case, you can come back in the channel next time. You're good. In this specific case, yes, it would have been. Better. Watch him be Lumberry. There's no way. He's got to be Herb. I don't know, bro. On this team, he's got to be Herb. DK, bro. Live it? You know who would have lived that? Uh, okay, if he's Life Orb, you wouldn't have lived that. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, that. see, yeah. I don't think your leftovers, Calyrex, would have lived that either. Bro. It would have lived that, 100%. Paralyze. No, all right. No, no, no. We got this. We got this. <laughs> oh, we have reflect up, right? Yeah. So we can. Okay, so we need Zacian to get paralyzed here, and we and wild we get the wildfire into the Lando, yeah. right? And we get the blades breaks. off on the Zacian, and we win. Well, we don't win actually. That just gives us a chance. It gives us an opportunity to airstream and then win. But Wait, we have so to actually wouldn't here. Wouldn't it be better here if we went for airstream into Lando? Because he's gonna rock fall us. Cause and then we and then we're gonna lose our our boost and our fire moves. Yeah, airstream is always better. So airstream and then wildfire. Yeah. Max airstream. Um, blade. Yeah. Well, there's Two blades. There's, here, there's, there's still not a reason to blades. There is. Yeah, because you need to kill the Zacian, and yeah. he crash won't do near as much. You're right. 
At this point, we're just hoping that, like, they get paralyzed. Yeah. I mean, they haven't yet. Like, it's at this point, they're, like, statistically due. <laughs> yeah. But this is Pokemon, bro. Listen, his, his full pair is overdue. He's got to turn it in. All okay. right. Okay, okay, okay. Charizard takes these. Yes. All right. Dog, we're taking sand chip and life orb. No, 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 bro. We're gonna live. As long as there's no. Uh... Okay. All right. Next turn, we're faster, so we can actually wildfire. No, we do. We have a really good chance to win this. Actually. Yeah. As long I mean... as as long as they get paralyzed, we actually have a really good chance to win. Or if we connect here, because I think we're faster. No, I won't kill. Uh, all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Dude, no, but no, no, we no, are no. taking we're good, we're good, a lot. We are taking a lot of chip. No, 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 no. We we live. We live after one more turn of chip. We just wildfire in the Lando. If we connect the blades, we win. A hundred percent, we win. All right. Hundred percent, we win. Have we seen their their last Pokemon though? It's probably Rushy. That's why I'm saying I think we win. That's true. Then we get the. Ice cream. Hey, we're at minus we'll one though. Blades. We're at minus one and we lose our, our Zard this turn. Yeah. So it comes down to like. If they a max card, we have to hope they get parried. Yeah. So if they don't max card and we get the wildfire off and we connect blades, we have a good chance of winning. Unless they have Rilla in the back, then we lose. Yeah. All right. Okay. No. All right. Cool. Okay, cool, okay, cool, okay. cool. Cool. Okay. Gone. Gone? Yes? Everyone comment, thank you, Blastburn. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, Hurricane, bro. <laughs> Hurricane's nah, the one that put us in the range. <laughs> Alright, Charizard's gone. This is single target now. 07 in the chat for Charizard. Alright. Blades! Yes, sir! Okay, okay. alright, alright, alright. This is still going to come down to a crit. Oh, absolutely. But, like, considering how unlucky we got, this is a pretty good probability to win the game, all things considered. Yeah, I mean, we, we brought it back to the point where it was at least possible. I feel like Blades might get the KO if it's no bulk. Uh, but it's Reshiram. They're, like, usually AV. All right, let's go. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm scared, Joe. We got it, bro. I'm scared, Joe. We got it. He's going to Earth Power and he's going to miss the KO because he played it safe. He's going to Shook a Berry us. He's going to miss a Draco. Okay. He's going to miss a Draco. No! Oh. <laughs> no! It just, it we just, got that so close. Yeah, it just dawned on me that Reshiram non-maxed is absolute garbage with its accuracy. Yeah. All right, that was fine. That was fine. That was, a, that was honestly, considering how unlucky we got, that was a pretty good match. Yeah, like, yeah. You know who wouldn't have been as unlucky, though? Yeah, 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 man. All right. Anyways, yeah. I mean, you already know who Joe is. He's been on the channel a few times before. All of Joe's uh, links are going to be in the description down below. Obviously, the rental team and all the other rental teams from uh, the series are going to be in the uh, Google Sheets that is linked in the description down below as well. Joe, you have anything you want to plug before we end this? Uh, nah, man. You know, uh, just... You know, guys, uh, Pokemon World's coming up soon. Keep an eye on that. It'll be fun. Uh, maybe I'll be there on stream, so hopefully. Um, and yeah, I mean, Marco's awesome, dude, so I'm just glad to be on the channel. You know, so it's fun. Yeah, yeah, and he earned his way back. He got his, he got his free ticket, so yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one where we... Joe, should I reveal like the next guest at the end of each episode? Uh, I feel like that could be cool, or like maybe start saying their name and it like cuts off, you know? Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. All right. Uh join me next time when we welcome on our good friend Jim.